some Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make strawberry orange muffins. They're simple, they're easy, they're quick, they're delicious. Let me take your ready ingredients to get started. You're going to need some fresh strawberries, some granulated sugar, all-purpose flour, baking powder, salt, unsalted butter at room temperature, eggs, freshly squeezed orange juice, and orange zest. So, first thing you want to do is get your oven preheated to 350. Second thing you want to do is take your muffin tin and line it with some liner so nothing sticks. So, let's take the dry ingredients really quickly and just mix the baking powder and the salt and the flour together just so that you don't get like a big lump of baking powder and a big lump of salt in your muffins. And then now that that's done, we're going to take some of our strawberries and we're going to puree them. You can do this in a blender, you can do this in a food processor. I'm going to do it in a little food processor because I don't have a lot to puree. You can also do it with an um, immersion blender if you have one of those. So now patiently just puree this up. All I'm going to do is just pass this through a sieve because I don't want any of the seeds, but I do want the puree itself. So just pass it through a sieve really quickly. That looks fabulous. So now that we have that ready, clean up and let's get started to making the batter. In this bowl, I'm going to do this with just my handheld whisk here and a, just a regular bowl, but of course you can use your big standing mixer for this. I'm going to add in my sugar and my butter and just quickly cream this together until it's somewhat combined. That's fine enough for me. And then to this, I'm going to add in my eggs. Just quickly mix this together to cream everything nicely. I'm going to add in my orange juice and zest as well. Looks great. And now we're going to add in our strawberry juice or puree. This is going to look a bit funky, but don't worry. This is going to be just delicious and fluffy and just how I want it. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to take a couple tablespoons of your flour mixture and just put it into the strawberries and give them a quick little mix to coat them in the flour. And this, what happens is the strawberries, the, the flour adheres to the strawberries so that when you fold them in your batter, when, as they bake, they're not going to sink all the way down. They're going to get nice, they're going to stay all spread out. Good tip. So just mix this quickly. That looks good. And I'm going to put in my dry ingredients right into my wet and just mix those in. That looks awesome. Awesome! And it smells so good already and they're not even in the oven. So now I'm going to take my strawberry and flour mixture and I'm going to use a spatula to just fold everything in because the spatula prevents me from over mixing the flour so that the gluten doesn't develop and then we don't have a tough cupcake. It'll be just nice and tender and sweet just like me. I wish. That batter just looks amazing. So, now you know what I'm going to use. Handy dandy little ice cream scoop. This is not so little, it's a regular size ice cream scoop. I always use this when I'm filling up my muffins or cupcakes. It makes them all the same size. And look at that, there's like no cleanup, nothing spilling over anywhere. It's like the best trick of life. Last one. Fill it up more. Okay, these are going to go into your preheated oven at 350 Fahrenheit and these are going to bake for about 20 to 22 minutes. Um, you're looking for them to be completely done on the inside but not overcooked and the easiest way to tell if you're not so sure by just looking at them, you should take a toothpick or a dry piece of spaghetti, you insert it into the center. If it comes out clean with no wet batter on it, you know they're done. So these are going to bake, I'm going to let them cool and then we'll serve them up. My muffins were in the oven for about 20 minutes or so and I've let them cook completely and now it's time to pretty much dig in. They smell fantastic by the way. I really want to show you. I love how like the strawberries bleed a little bit. But that's fabulous. Yeah buddy. See? The strawberries on top. There's some at the bottom. That's really awesome. You know, I don't want to chew my own horn, but once in a while, doo -doo, it's not a bad idea. These are delicious. They're simple, they're easy, they're absolutely delicious. You can serve them for any time of day. You can serve them for breakfast if you want to. You can serve them for a snack. You can serve them for dessert. They're good any time of day for any kind of treat. 
I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me. Go to www.laurenkitchen.com to get the recipe, and I'll see you next time. Toodles.